So the Building Safety Act has been introduced to reform building safety legislation. Its main focus is going to be to improve the standards and safety of all buildings and advance those involved in designing, constructing and crucially managing throughout the life cycle of a building. The Building Safety Regulator will be responsible for overseeing all building control and building safety management within England. So the statutory duty holders already exist uh, under Construction Design and Management Regulations 2015. The Building Safety Act introduces a like-for-like -like creation of these duty holder roles. So our clients, contractors and designers all get additional functions under the Act from their counterparts under the CDM regulations. There are two new duty holder roles set up, this being the accountable persons and the principal accountable persons. Under existing UK law, we have the Construction Design and Management Regulations 2015, which already lays out foundations for the duty holders that we see under the Building Safety Act. These are the client, contractors and designers who are all involved in delivering projects. Contrary to what the name suggests, it is not an individual involved in the process. The accountable person is an organisation who has responsibility for managing or ownership of either part or the whole of a higher risk building. So the golden thread is essentially the information that allows anyone to understand the safety profile of a higher risk building from how it was originally constructed through to fire safety management arrangements in occupation and everything else in between. Importantly, it's also the identified process for managing the building both now and moving forward in the future. So we're talking complete life cycle of a building. It needs to be focused, accessible, and importantly, it needs to be in a digital format that is easy to use for all. A higher risk building has been defined in law as any building that is at least 18 meters in height or has at least seven stories with two or more residential units. The reference to the 18 meter height will be measured from the lowest point, the ground floor, to the highest stories floor surface. Any stories that contain just plant and machinery will be excluded. It's important to note that the Act and all supporting legislation applies to all buildings and all construction projects, with just the smaller part four applying to higher risk buildings only. So the Act has been described as a paradigm shift in the way in which residential buildings are to be designed, built and managed. Therefore, if you are a client and you are involved in any of these things, this Act will affect you. Clients will need to understand what their new duties are. They'll need to ensure that their design teams, contractors and facilities management are competent and capable to fulfill the roles that they're engaged to do. So a full review of supply chains will be necessary. If you own or manage a higher risk building, by October 2023, you will have to register this with the new regulator. You will need to prepare a safety case and you will need to identify your accountable persons. In essence, what we're talking about is a higher standard of communication and cooperation required across all aspects of design and management. And of course, you will need a proactive engagement strategy and evidence that you are engaging with residents.